So I'm going to try and explain here the basic operation of a hydromechanical fuel control unit. So basically we have fuel in the uh, fuel tank of the aircraft, um, a booster pump inside that tank uh, brings the fuel into the engine. Uh, it must first pass through a, a low pressure valve. Uh, comes through that and it then goes through a, a, a pump and there will be a filter and assume there's some um, heat exchanging and all that as well. Okay, so the fuel then comes into the, the HMU. Now, in a previous video, I showed that the mass of fuel uh, is dependent upon uh, this expression here times some pressure drop. Okay, and this is the ratio of the area two. So it's this area here. So when the fuel comes in, we have this valve, and this valve's in green, it goes up and down, and it's changing the cross-sectional area of this part of, of the engine. So let, let me just draw something here. Yeah, it's this, this area here, A2. It's that area compared to this area here. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be a constant there. This this coming in here, that's a constant. But this area here is going to vary. Okay. Now, if if this varies, there will the pressure between inside and the outside would have would normally vary. But we put this differential valve to make sure that the pressure this side is the same as the pressure on this side. Okay. So that's what that pressure differential valve does, and that keeps that constant. So if that is constant, then the mass flow of fuel will just be dependent upon this area here, which, is, which means it's just dependent on the position of this valve. So we can move that valve up and down and directly change the, the mass of fuel coming through. And remember, what we want to get here is one kilogram of fuel for 15 kilograms of air. So it's, it's all about the mass flow of the fuel. Okay, so they... The fuel control unit then is made up of this um, throttle valve, let's say. Okay, so it is has a governor. So if the RPM of the engine increases for whatever reason, the fly weights uh, will move out, and uh, that will cause the valve to move up. So as these come out, it's just going to lift this guy up. And that's going to bring the valve up and that will reduce the area here so that moves up and reduces the, the area and that will cut down the amount of fuel and if fuel cuts down then the rpm will reduce conversely if the uh, rpm reduces for some reason then the fly weights will move in the valve will move down it'll increase this area here and allow more fuel to, to go to the engine and if more fuel goes to the engine the rpm will will increase so that's the governor part and then the pilot the the throttle directly controls the valve here so that, you know by moving the throttle back and forth raises and lowers this this valve all right so that's controlling the the amount of fuel coming out now we want to uh, make some allowance for for altitude because as the air goes up uh, sorry as the aircraft goes up the uh, the amount of um, oxygen uh, reduces in the air so we need to make allowances for that so we have a bellows here and that takes in ambient uh, pressure and, and temperature and a burner uh, pressure so this is the output of the compressor this section this section here and this bellows actuated burner uh, valve uh, uh, between the discharge side of the throttle valve and the inlet side of the fuel pump senses the difference between the burner pressure and the ambient pressure so the fuel pressure at the nozzles can vary as the burner or compressor discharge pressure changes okay so i'll say that again it's so that the fuel pressure at the nozzles can vary as the burner or compressor discharge pressure varies so if there's any change in this bellows it'll cause this valve to move up and down and you know fuel will then either drain back to the pump or uh, or go to the nozzles so the fuel then uh, once it's come out of the fuel control unit 
Now we'll go to the um, uh, the valve here, and this valve is called the high pressure shutoff valve. And from there, it goes into the pressurizing and dump valve, and from there into into the nozzles. Okay, and there into the actual combustion can. So that's a very basic overview uh, of a hydromechanical fuel control unit.